you know, with that, guys, that leads me into the last topic here, which, you know, is, of course, ways in which Gears of War can be improved in the future. I got to say, guys, that Gear 6 is a, is a title that I'm incredibly excited about. And it's not because I don't love Gears of War as a whole. I, I, I love Gears, and I think that Gears of War is going to be, uh, you know, I, I love Gears 5. I like the direction it's going in with the operations. But at the same time, I certainly want to see the continuation here of this franchise moving forward. Now, that being said, we, what do we know at this point? Well, we know that Rod Ferguson, the studio head at the Coalition, before he moved on to Blizzard, stated that Gear 6 and Gear 7 are both confirmed. They are coming out. And this was fully confirmed or you know, further confirmed when we saw the Xbox Game Studios and we saw all the studios and what they're working on currently. And the Coalition was on that list and they are working on uh, helping out, collaborating on the reboot for Perfect Dark. And they are also working on Gear 6. So what I'm getting at here, guys, is that Gears 6 is definitely in development right now. Whether it's in a late stage or it's in the early stages at this point is a you know another conversation for another day. But I do believe that Gear 6 is being made at this point in time. And this kind of gets me back to what I was alluding to earlier that we as a as a as a fan base. Uh, you know, need to really come together. We have to support our favorite creators, our favorite streamers and such guys and watch the esports scene because even though Gear 6 and Gear 7 are confirmed, that can all change in a matter of no time if the, you know, coalition decides, look, it's not worth it. There's too many, you know, uh, too much hate towards this game um, based upon just, you know, backlash towards every little thing that the coalition decides to do. Now, that's a part of the community as a whole, but I think that we need to be a little bit more supportive of the coalition and such. Uh, in their endeavors moving forward with Gear 6. But that leads me, guys, to the things that I think that need to happen in order for Gear 6 to be a smash success. So number one for me, guys, is a full open world in the campaign. So what we've had up to this point, guys, we had this linear experience up till Gears 5, and Gears 5 kind of changed all of that by having a you know, uh, a a semi-open world setting, which I was really skeptical about at first, but now looking back and playing it for ourselves, man, what an incredible experience it was. I mean, an absolutely incredible experience. And I really enjoyed being able to be thrown into this world, into the lore and all of that, uh, and really start learning more about about this world and being able to explore it. So I'd like to see a full open world and that scale in Gear 6. That leads me to the next thing, guys. I think one of the great things that Gears of War does is they do a great job of evolving the franchise by adding new modes, by um, adding like new weapons and, and all of that. I think what the Coalition needs to do with Gear 6 is continuing the, uh, the innovation. I want to see a continued innovation moving into Gear 6, you know, continuing to add new ways that we can traverse the world, new ways that, uh, new weapons from a multiplayer perspective to a campaign perspective from Horde uh, modes and all those other modes consistently evolving the franchise and even bringing back some old modes like Beast Mode or, you know, Having escape mode come back, the more ways that we can connect with the franchise, the better, guys. It just justifies, you know, the $60 price tag more and more. Um, Obviously, with Xbox Game Pass, you know, that wouldn't be an issue, but you get what I mean. That leads me, though, guys, to number three, which for me, this is in relation to the esports scene in Gears of War. I believe, guys, that with esports, um, I, I think that simplicity is a really important thing. I love the direction that they're going in with Gears Esports, as I had alluded to earlier, and the direction it's going in, the production value and all of that. I love where we're going. The casters are, are great, top-notch casters, guys, in, in, in the esports scene. But I would like to see them change the game mode. 
from escalation to execution. I know they kind of were testing this out earlier in Gears 5, but I think execution, guys, the reason why I believe they need to go in that direction is because it's a little bit easier to understand for new viewers. We look at escalation and, you know, it's obviously a very... Uh, a very competitive mode. I think it's one of the best modes in esports. I really love watching it. But for new viewers, it's a lot easier to understand that, okay, they're just trying to wipe out the other team versus, okay, they're trying to, you know, get, uh, basically take over each of the rings on the map and they're trying to dominate in that way. Um, and there's a lot more strategy uh, at times to escalation, but there's also so much strategy to execution because you get one life and that's all you get. It's like search and destroy in Call of Duty, similar to that of CSGO. Simplicity, I think, is actually going to help grow the esports scene of Gears of War even more. And so uh, execution over escalation, I think they should at least try it. I think that would be a really good idea. I know they tested it, but I really think they should do it moving into gear six, just for the simplicity's sake for new viewers. That leads me guys into number four, going back to the campaign here, uh, going backwards. I think that with gear six, we need to have one last hoorah with Marcus Phoenix and or JD Phoenix. I love Kate Diaz. I think she's a great character. Absolutely awesome. I love her um, and I think she's great. But I really want to see us get one last, you know, go around with Marcus Phoenix as the main character of the game. Uh, or JD. I feel like I didn't like the direction they went in with JD Phoenix in Gears 5. I thought that they kind of made him out to be a douchebag, and I didn't really like that concept um, from Gears 4. So in this one, I really would like to go back to Marcus one last time. And I think there's nothing, obviously, I, I love Kate Diaz, and I'm not, I'm not against us playing as her again in the future. But I think in this game, guys, it needs to be that one last time that we play as Marcus Phoenix and or JD Phoenix before, you know, things continue changing. Because we really only got one game with JD Phoenix, and I really like him as a character. I was just starting to really like him. Then you get thrown into playing as Kate Diaz, which I love her as a character as well. The Coalition has done a great job of creating new characters, but I just think it's important that we play as Marcus one last time, even though we've had our time with Marcus. Um, I would like one more go around with that. Even if the game is kind of split like The Last of Us, where you play half the game as, you know, Marcus and half the game as JD or something like that, I would love that concept. And that leads me, guys, into the last part, which is free to play. Uh, we've already alluded to this. I want to see Gears of War, uh, that being Gears 6, go free to play. I think it would be huge for. Uh, as far as the multiplayer is concerned, just the multiplayer, I think going free to play would be absolutely massive for the coalition. It would be massive for uh, the just the game as a whole. I would love to see it. Absolutely would love to see free to play come out of, of Gears War. I think it would continue helping build upon what there's what they've really got to at this point with the coalition continuing to build the legacy, the lore, continue building the fan base that is that is Gears of War. I think that could be huge moving into Gear 6. So free to play, guys. Please make that happen. Um, now, one other thing that I had as an honorable mention is Battle Royale. Now, there's a lot of talk right now, guys, that Halo Infinite's going to have a Battle Royale mode, and there's certainly pros and cons. But one thing that I love about Gears is that I I love the evolution of what they've done with Gears Pop. You have, you know, Gears Tactics, all these great modes, man. They do such a good job with that. And I think that they would knock it out of the park with the Gears Battle Royale. Certainly people out there would be trying it out, um, especially if it was free to play. I think it'd be huge for, for Gears of War as a, as a game. And uh, you know, um, even just people trying it out to see what they think of it, I think that could be absolutely huge for Gears of War as a whole. And so a Battle Royale for Gears could really could really get uh, somewhere, I, I believe. I think that there's truly something there. Uh, how they would do it, guys, I mean, we that's another conversation for another day, but I would not mind seeing Battle Royale. And I know some people feel one way or another about Battle Royale. I'm certainly not very good at playing Battle Royale games, 
But what I will say is, you look at Call of Duty Warzone. I mean, it's one of the biggest battle royales in the world. That's putting Call of Duty just on a further pedestal than what it's already at. You look at, you know, all kinds of other titles out there, guys, that are that are battle royale, have battle royale modes to them that really create a uh, just more ways that you can engage and play uh, and be in that world and in that lore. So that is for me, guys, what I would really like to see. And I would love to hear from you guys what you would all want to see in Gear 6 and how can the coalition improve Gear 6. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, for more Gear 6 content, guys, definitely check out all of the videos that I've put up on the YouTube channel.